Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be showing you around camp. This is also a summertime camping video. We'll show you some of the things we use that make our life a little bit easier, especially if you're camping in the heat. And I'm here to tell you that this canvas tent does better in the heat than I really thought it would. We've camped out in the heat in that green teepee that I've made other videos about, which I would not recommend to anybody, but I'm telling you this spring bar is an amazing piece of camp equipment. So let's get to the video. We'll start out over here. This is, I've, I've showed this in a video many years ago, but this is the base camp outdoor systems hot water heater. The one complaint that I had when I did the initial review, if you look down here, that pump is a little bit too big for your five gallon buckets. It will not fit in like this five gallon bucket. So, or I mean the five gallon water can. So we always bring a five gallon bucket. That way we can get the water. There is water at this campsite. If you look right over there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a white spigot. So there's water real close to that campground, which is a plus. This is the Camp Shift Everest model. This one's on sale because they've got an Everest 2. This thing works like a champ, guys. One of the things, and I've always loved my Coleman stove, but one of the things I will point out real quick is it's got a burner three times the size. So when you're trying to make your coffee early in the morning, it don't take very long at all, and you've got your coffee. It also puts out a lot more BTUs than the Coleman. And then that's just a regular old Arctic ice chest we've had forever and ever. We used to take it to our off-grid place pretty regular. A little bit more about the campsite here at Lake of the Pines. You do have the fire ring. There's our little toolbox that I take to every camp we go to. I've got that. It's got some cooking stuff in it and your HBA, that type of stuff. These little fans right here, I'm pretty sure I've done a video on them before. I don't remember, but the name of it is Cooney. I'll put a link down below. That just, this thing clamps onto everything. We use these in our boat during the heat because you can clamp that to the bimini top you can clamp it just wherever you want and you've got a great fan i'll run you right in here real quick inside the tent you got these little chairs like that the little joey chair bicycle back there so you can make a run up to the bathroom but you can see how big the windows are in this tent and then of course, you know, this looks, you've got a nice big door that you can bring all your gear in and out. And then the, the way these windows work, is just absolutely amazing. Come over here, I'll show you. There's that same fan. We've got three or four of those. I don't remember for certain. And that, that's just a little box. It's my electric box to keep everything uh, charged up. But I clamped one of the fans on here last night so it'd suck that cool air right down on me and Buster down here in our cot. Well, we didn't bring the cot, but on our bed. And then another little black box just helps organize camp. But again, you can see this wind is only rolled halfway down. And this canvas, for whatever reason, it just doesn't get... It just doesn't get as hot as like some of your other tent materials. And even though the temperature inside is probably the same, it, it felt cooler in there than it did sitting out here in the shade, especially when we got ready to go to bed. I put those little 12 volt fans on. And guys, these are pretty cheap. They're way cheaper than buying an air conditioner and they'll also last a long time if you take care of them. But again, I just wanted to share with you guys a few tips and tricks for camping in the heat especially if you're using the spring bar, classic Jack 140 or equivalent 10. I know Kodiak makes one as well. But we're fixing to head out and go do some fishing, Buster and I. And I wanted to do this real quick camp video, how camp was set up, what it was like, what it's like camping in it in the heat. And uh, you can see, see that wind is not even halfway rolled down, guys. You could take that all the way down and get a lot more air in there. But anyways, 
just wanted to share this with you if you stay around till the end of this video i'm going to add some campsites if you guys are planning on camping at lake of the pines give you an idea now i will say this when i looked down here and seen buster's dog food bowl last night there was a billion of them fire ants guys i've done a, another video on this in the past but I, it, it i'm going to mention it again spray at the very least the bottom of your tent all the way around with Sawyer's or something, uh, permethrin to keep the spiders. It'll keep the ants out. And if, especially if you're camping in this area where you've got the, those fire ants, number one are tiny, but they've got, they pack a punch on their bite. You don't want to wake up in the middle of the night with a bunch of them things crawling on you. That Sawyer's, I treat every tent my camper clothes, my socks, everything with it, and you just don't have the problem with the bugs, mosquitoes or anything. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll knock them out. That way you don't have to ruin, your trip doesn't get ruined by an insect. Again, guys, we appreciate, oh yeah, not to mention the ticks, which will give you sicknesses. Um, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Thanks for tuning in. I know everybody's time is valuable, but I just want you to know that I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found some of it. Inf I hope you found some of this information useful. And again, until next week's video comes out, click this link up here. It'll take you to another playlist of videos that we've made especially for you. Again, I hope you all have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen. <laughs> <laughs>